guys, I'm Ifra. Um, so recently I've been seeing a lot of ads for food delivery services and since a lot of us have pretty busy lives, I think it's a really convenient thing to have. So I decided to try out two of them. I tried out Blue Apron and Home Chef. I've already tried Blue Apron as of right now. Home Chef just got delivered, so I'm gonna go try that. Um, so my goal is to compare uh, both of the services based on like roughly three things. So first would be how uh, delicious the food is. Do I like it? Um, number two would be how unique are the ingredients if I've tried the recipes uh, before, like similar things. Um, and thirdly would be how good their customer service is. So I actually tried out um, all, both the services for one week and then I wanted to cancel them and kind of compare and see if I want to try them out again. So hope you like it and uh, enjoy. Alrighty, let's start with Blue Apron. So a couple of weeks back, I got this box from the lovely people over at Blue Apron. Um, I got a pretty good deal on the box because a relative of mine is already using the service and basically got me a discount. Anywho, inside the box were these three recipes and all the corresponding ingredients were placed inside this metallic bag and it was nicely placed between these two ice gel packs, I'm assuming. Whatever it was, it was really cool so it kept all of the produce fresh as you'll see later on in the video. So here you can see I am just quickly taking out all the ingredients that I need for the first recipe which is going to be vegetable tostadas. Preheat the oven to blah blah wash and dry the fresh produce. So this recipe was actually pretty easy to follow and I really enjoyed making it. So here are some of the snapshots from the recipe. Super simple preparation methods, which I think honestly anybody can do. Okay, so here it is, and I know, I know, it doesn't look the most appetizing on camera, but I swear that is just the camera. In person, it looked pretty tasty, and it honestly tasted really good. I think this was one of my favorite dishes to make. Definitely a winner for me. So I ended up making the Veduvan shrimp with sweet chili sauce, as well as the third recipe, which was, I think, a sweet basil fettuccine. Anyway, all of them were delicious. The Veduvan wasn't my favorite, but it definitely looked really good and it was still pretty tasty. So, Blue Apron, you did good. On to our second contender, Home Chef. Looks like this. So, four cheese recipes, fontina and caramelized onion flatbread, cashew tofu. Let's see what we have. Oh, we got a little packet. Um, some ice to keep everything cool. Quality ingredients. Okay, looks like everything's in here. Got little packets. Fontina and caramelized onion bread. So in terms of packaging your produce, it looks like Home Chef did the same thing that Blue Apron did, which was pack all their veggies and ingredients in between two packs of some type of ice gel to keep everything cool and fresh. I decided to start off with the four cheese baked ziti because I am a huge fan of pasta. So here you can just see me laying out all the ingredients that I need to create this recipe. I don't know if you can see it, but 
it was basically a bad shallot, kind of rotten all through, so I threw this whole piece out. One other unfortunate thing that happened was that it looked like the spinach had seen some better days. But unfortunately, I didn't have any other on hand, and I wanted to stay as true to the flavors as Home Chef intended. So I just picked out the ones that were wilted and used up the rest. In the end, it ended up tasting pretty yummy, so I gotta give points to Home Chef for flavor for this particular dish. So because it was so tasty, I decided to try another one of the recipes, the Fontina and Caramelized Onion Flatbread. So everything was going great, until I realized that I couldn't use another one of the ingredients. Introducing Sherry. Yeah, it's alcohol, and I don't consume any alcohol, not even in cooking. So I had to toss this little container out. In the end, the dish was actually super duper delicious and very aesthetically pleasing. So on the delicious scale, Home Chef killed it. Comparing time. I've decided to assign each of the meal kits one sum number that I'm gonna compare at the end. For Blue Apron, food deliciousness. I gave it 8.1 out of 10. Um, the food was really good. I made all three of the recipes, so I was definitely able to get a taste and a feel for what they had to offer. For Home Chef, I gave them a 7.1 out of 10. I didn't end up making one of the recipes because I left the country for a trip. And the other two recipes, for each of the recipes, I was basically like, there was an ingredient that I couldn't use. So it's like, I didn't really feel like I got the full flavor effect that I could have. But what I did taste was still really good. Um, recipe uniqueness, I gave Blueprint 8.2. Um, I thought the recipes had really cool, unique ingredients that I hadn't used before, um, or just the combination was like pretty clever. And for Home Chef, I gave it a 7.5. I felt like their recipes uh, were a little bit more just like recycled versions of stuff that I'd already tried. So like their pita pizza type thing, I've made that a gazillion amount of times. Um, for customer service, I gave Fluid Brin 9 out of 10. They were really easy to get in touch with. Um, I was able to use their website properly. Um, just everything worked out. And for Home Chef, I gave them um, a 7.5. Basically, they were really good and everything. But my only issue was, and it's not even just customer service, it's just I feel like their website's a little weird. The first weeks that I used them, um, uh, after I already decided on the three meals, I chose only vegetarian meals. I realized that I could check through the ingredients. I was like, okay, let me just see what they have. And I checked and it had another, um, like there was some wine or some alcohol that had to go in it. So I was like, okay, I don't, I, I can't really, I don't use that ingredient. So I'd rather switch it and go to the next week. That was impossible to do online. So I was like reaching out to the customer service and I'm like, can you help me with this? So they did a whole refunding policy and, and I fixed it. But then again, I ended up getting the alcohol. So um, I guess it's not really customer service's fault. They're still really good, like they got everything done. But I feel like it just, it could be a little bit better, maybe. Hope I'm not being too harsh. Um, so in sum, we are gonna give Blue Apron 25.3, they did really good. And then we're gonna give Home Chef 22.1. And both of these are out of 30, so Blue Apron had a bit more variety, but Home Chef, um, you didn't really have a lot of variety, which I thought kind of sucked a little bit, which I think is one of the reasons why I was leaning more towards Blue Apron. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Toodle-doo.